Hey there, yogis, Satnam. This is a special Mother's Day class that is all about awakening and celebrating that divine feminine, that goddess energy, that inner fairy queen that lives inside each and every one of us. So go ahead and grab a little meditation cushion or blanket and let's get started. All right, loves, let's get started seated, cross ankle pose, and I want to invite you to bring something underneath your bum. So a blanket or a meditation cushion, just something to elevate you so that you're feeling that inner queen energy come through, that elevated seat. And then we'll rub our hands together in front of our heart. Close your physical eyes, just begin to drop in. Drop into your body, drop into your breath. And then slow down the rubbing of the hands, just bringing the palms to press here right in front of your heart center. Bringing the chin level, sitting up nice and tall, nice and proud, confident, regal. And that divine feminine energy, it is the emotional and the creative aspects of each and every one of us. Emotional and creative, which is really intimately connected to, to wisdom and our own inner wisdom and guidance. So I want us to begin here just tuning in in the traditional Kundalini way with the Adi Mantra. Ong, O-N-G, Namo, Guru Dev, Namo. With this mantra, we're just tapping in to our own wisdom and guidance and trusting our own wisdom and guidance. Let's take three cycles of breath here just to gather our energy, breathing in nice and deep through the nose and make an O shape with the mouth, pour it out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more, inhale. And let it go. Breathing in to begin. breath in through the nose squeeze your bum a little bit activating your root lock drawing your belly in and up spiraling your energy up and out through the crown of the head and exhale through the mouth cool all right maybe keep your eyes closed we're gonna open our fingers out, but keep the edge of our thumbs and our pinky fingers touching for Lotus Mudra. And then lift your Lotus Mudra up so that it's right over the crown of the head. You can keep a little bend in your elbows. So you can even imagine this Lotus Mudra sort of like your queen's crown. I like to imagine my queen's crown sort of like this awesome flower crown. And then we'll begin making little belly dancer movements here with our Lotus Mudra overhead. So bring your left hip a little bit out to the left, your right ribs to the right, and your Lotus swings a little bit to the left. 
And then as you swing your lotus back, your chest comes forward, your tailbone draws back. So it's like that happy cat spine. And then you'll bring everything on over to the right, right hip to the right, lotus to the right. And then as your lotus comes forward, the spine draws back and the tailbone curls underneath you a little bit. And then just keep moving in this circular pattern. So it's a little bit more of a concentrated circling here rather than a Sufi grind, which is larger circles. Just tapping into that breath, breathing nice and deep, letting the breath flow. And I want you to begin to imagine here the qualities and the characteristics of your own inner queen energy. So my inner fairy queen, she's calm, she's confident. She trusts her emotions, trusts her intuition and really acts based off of her own intuitive guidance. She lets emotions flow through her. She embraces any and all emotions. She's able to lovingly and clearly express and communicate her emotions to others. That's a big one. So take a moment here. You can even say it out loud or inside yourself. Who is your own inner divine fairy queen? We all have one inside of us. Pause wherever you're at, just reverse the direction of the circles, just move in the other way. Keeping that spine nice and strong. Root lock a little bit engaged here. We're really awakening that queen energy, allowing her magic to start to swirl from within us and then around us into our auric fields. Call in deeper breath. more times around. Awesome. Inhale up through center. Reach your lotus straight up. Maybe straighten your arms a bit. Expand the belly and the chest out. And then exhale. Sweep your arms by your sides. Just landing your fingertips lightly on the earth. Then bring your palms onto your knees. Try to keep your arms rather straight here. We're going to move into a little happy cat, sassy cat seated, but again, a little bit more of a smaller concentrated movement. So inhale to draw the belly forward, hips forward, tailbone back, and then exhale, draw those hips and belly back, tailbone forward. Inhale, forward, exhale, round. So you're really focusing on moving from the pelvis here. So you're really working that pelvis, working the hips and the belly here more than anything else. Trying to keep the chin level. Eyes closed, gazing in and up towards the brow point. Most important thing is the breath. Really breathing nice and deep.
this is a great, such an awesome movement for pregnant mamas to do as well. In fact, this whole set, this whole flow is really awesome for pregnant mamas. That was not intended in the creation of it, but just so happens to be. So if you're a pregnant mama, this one's for you. Even if you're not a pregnant mama, this one's for you. It's good for anybody and everybody. Take it a few more rounds. All right, inhale, belly forward, tailbone back. Puff that heart up and out. And exhale, round in. Cool, I'm gonna turn and face the front of my mat now, but you can stay right where you are. You may wanna release that padding from underneath your booty or keep it there if you need a little bit more elevation in your seat. We're gonna bring our legs in front of us, give them a little shake out, and then bring them into a V, but not like the widest V ever. So just like straight up V here, flex your feet, really reach your energy through the backs of the legs and out through the heels. We're gonna bring our arms in front of us parallel to the ground with the thumbs up, curl the other four fingers into the palm. We're going to inhale here to lean back a little bit and then exhale, fold forward as much as you can, really pressing those thumbs straight ahead. So inhale to lean back, exhale, come forward. Close in those eyes. Keeping those toes right up towards the sky. Sorry if you can hear the garbage trucks. <laughs> it's garbage day here. <laughs> Keep it going. See if you can tap even deeper into your breath, right? And really the awesome part of this practice is that it's a meditation where we're not like trying to block anything out, right? Everything is part of it. Everything is part of the experience and how can we invite it all in and how can we flow with it? And that's really the energy of the divine feminine. It's flowing with it. Being okay with dipping into unknown territory. Keeping that spine nice and extended. Just a few more like this, and then we'll switch it up. Really opening up the backs of the legs, the life nerve that runs down the backs of the legs. Also getting into that third chakra, our digestive fire, kidneys, liver, our ability to detox, to release. All right, inhale back, exhale forward. And now if you can, nab your peace fingers around your big toes, that's not possible, bring your hands anywhere along your legs where it is possible for you to reach. We'll inhale to a flat back here and then exhale, bring as much as you can your forehead towards your left shin. Then inhale, flat back up through center, exhale, forehead towards your right shin. And then keep going side to side. Breathing in through center, breathing out as you fold towards a leg. Really starting to get into the side body here, the waist a little bit more, the hips.
Allow that breath to freely flow through you in and out. Take it one more time to the left, to the right. Inhale up through center. Hold the breath in just for a moment. Squeeze the root lock. Shoulders down away from the ears. And exhale, release the hands from the toes. Just bring your forearms to the ground here and let your head fall. Maybe press your palms here into a prayer. All right, slowly roll up, vertebra by vertebra. Cross your ankles. Let's meet in downward facing dog. So bring those palms nice and wide. Point our fingers forward, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. Find a comfortable distance between your hands and your feet where you don't feel so tight up into yourself or too stretched out, right? Find that happy medium. And then from that happy medium, I want you to walk your hands back enough, just enough, so that your heels can drop down to the ground. So find that place. If you can here, tense your fingers. That's not happening, no worries. Just keep your flat palm really activating those 10 finger pads into the earth. Let your head drop between your arms. And then we'll inhale here to lift our heels as high as we can. And then exhale, drop your heels down to the earth. Plug them in and then lift the toes and even the front part of the ball of the foot. Inhale, heels high, exhale, drop the heels, lift the toes. Keep this going, inhaling and exhaling. Won't be here too much longer. Stretching those calves. You've got 15 more seconds. Awesome. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, heels low. Plant your palms again into the earth. Inhale your heels high and then exhale slowly with control. Draw your shoulders over your wrists and then slowly your knees to the ground right under your hips. Ooh. All right. From tabletop, kick your right leg out to the right, planting the sole of the right foot into the ground. So it's going to feel like a half wide straddle. Right? So we're setting up for a little gateway pose here eventually. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone and your gaze for a little happy cat. And then exhale, press the earth away, round the spine for sassy cat. Let's just do that a couple more times. Inhale, drop the belly, arch. Exhale, round and curl in. One more. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, drop the belly, arch. Keep the spine in that happy cat as you sit your booty back towards your left heel. So you're opening up and dropping even deeper into this right inner thigh. <laughs> and then if it's accessible, see if you can drop your elbows and your forearms down to the ground, maybe even catch a prayer here. Let your head go a little bit. For sure, let those shoulders soften down the back and just breathe. Couple cycles of breath. Breathing into any and all of the places that are feeling this pose, right? That are feeling some sort of higher sensation. Awesome, lift your arms straight again. Inhale, lifting into that tabletop. And then swing your right leg up and high into three-legged dog. 
and keeping the right leg straight and the right foot flexed, open your hip here. But see if you can lift up out of that left armpit a little bit. Take a deep breath in here, really kick that right foot back. And then exhale, look forward and step your right foot outside your right hand into a wide lizard lunge. Tense your fingers. Inhale, draw those hips up and back so that naturally that front leg lengthens, maybe your back heel roots as your front toes lift up and that foot flexes. And then come back into your lizard, lizard lunge as you exhale, maybe you dip that left quad down, look up. And then inhale to that pyramid. And then exhale, lizard. Just one more, inhale, lengthen, exhale, lizard, and then drop your back knee down all the way. Widen your left palm a little bit out to the left. Inhale to reach your right arm up for a lizard twist. Twisted lizard. Open up that bottom shoulder a little bit more. See if you can really turn the ribcage open to the right. And then release the right arm behind your back, just loose leg. Just take a half bind here, softening the shoulders. Maybe even drop that left ear towards your left shoulder. Connecting thumb and pointer finger of your right hand and gluing those other three fingers together. Concentrating your energy on the breath and on the sensation in the body. Awesome, inhale to sweep your right arm off the back, plant the right palm, left palm back into neutral. Inhale, pop the back knee up, lizard lunge. Exhale, press the earth away through the hands, step your right foot back, down dog. Inhale, lift your heels high, come forward, shoulders over wrists, and then again, slow and controlled, knees to the ground. This time, kick that left leg out to the left. Tuck your back toes, inhale, drop your belly, arch. Exhale, round. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, drop the belly arch and sit your booty back towards your right heel. Nice opening there through the sole of the right foot. I'm feeling it through that right foot, you guys. See if you can drop those elbows and forearms down, press your palms together, and just loosen some things up here, especially through the upper back and the shoulders and the head. Awesome, everybody. Inhale, lengthen your arms long. Come back up. Swing your left leg up and open. So three-legged dog with that left leg Long, lift through your right armpit a little bit. Take a deep breath in here, press down through the hands, reach your left foot back, look forward, and then exhale, step your left foot outside your left hand. Tense your fingers or even grab blocks if you have them at home. It can be super helpful. Inhale to lengthen that front leg, root the back heel, flex the front foot. And then exhale, come back into your lizard lunge, but exaggerate the dipping of the hips down and the lifting of the heart. Inhale, pyramid. Exhale, lizard. One more. And then drop that back knee down. Right palm a little bit more out to the right. Inhale, reach your left arm up and then back. And then land the left arm all the way behind your back for a little half bind. Just notice if that bottom shoulder is caving in, right? If it's collapsing, consciously choose to open it up, dropping right ear towards right shoulder. Thumb and pointer finger touch with the left hand, Gyan Mudra. 
channeling your inner wisdom here. Awesome, everybody. Inhale to sweep that left arm off the back. Reach it forward and down. Bring your right palm back to neutral. Inhale, back knee up. Exhale, press the earth away. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, heels high. Come forward. Again, slow and controlled. Drop your knees. Again, right foot out to the right. Tuck your back toes. This time, inhale, just drop the belly arch. And then as you exhale, right away, booty towards your left heel. So we're just going to flow through this, but a little bit faster. On the inhale here, I want you to come right up into gate pose. So slide right palm down, right leg. Reach your left arm up and over towards the right side of your space. Lengthen the tailbone down. And see if you can engage the front body back into the back body. Mm, take a deep breath in here, right into the left side of the waist. OMG. And then exhale, sweep the left arm in front of you. Plant your palms. Inhale, come into that long-legged, open-hipped, three-legged dog. And then exhale, step your right foot outside your right hand. Right away, back knee down. Inhale to reach your right arm up and back. And then maybe if the weight of the hips is dipped forward enough, you can easily bend that back knee and draw the heel towards your booty. And then again, keep spinning the rib cage open to the right. Breathing. Richness. Vitality into the left hip flexor and quad. Amazing, and now let it go. Inhale to reach your right arm forward and down. Inhale, pop your back knee up, tense your fingers. Take a little pyramid and then bounce off of it as you step your left foot outside of your left hand. Heels and toes out, coming into a little frog squat. If you can, get your elbows into your inner thighs Give a little press of the elbows into the inner thighs and a prayer right at your heart. Lengthening the tailbone down, level chin, level crown of the head as if you're rocking that flower crown and you don't want it to fall off or whatever your crown is. Amazing, everybody. All right, begin to shift your hands into the lotus. Bring them up overhead. And then inhale, use the strength of your feet and your legs to lift you straight up. And then turn your toes forward, keep your feet nice and wide, put a little bend in the knees, and do your little lotus belly dancer movement here, standing up. Little hip circles, upper body circles, just working it again from the hips and the belly. And then reverse. Amazing. Inhale, lengthen up, reach up. Maybe open the heart, lean back. And then exhale, swan dive, arms out to the sides as you crease at the hips and fold into your legs. Inhale to look forward, step your left foot back. Maybe watch out for your animal friends that could be at the back of your mat. <laughs> Exhale, down dog. My cat's always sneaky like that. I always have to keep my third eye open, keep an eye open for her. Inhale, lift the heels high, slowly drop your knees down. We're going to take it to the other side. Kicking that left foot, left leg out to the left. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the spine. Exhale, booty back. Mm, let your head fall a little. And then inhale, rise up to gate pose, left hand down, left leg. Right arm reaches up and over. Lengthening that tailbone down towards the earth. 
Take a deep breath in as you breathe out, swing the right arm in front of the face. Bring your arms and your hands back in front of you. Inhale to sweep yourself up into that three-legged dog, open hip. And then exhale, step your left foot outside your left hand. Back knee down. Inhale, left arm reaches up and back. And then reach for that back foot if you can get it. If you can't get it, no stresses. Or if it's not happening today and it did yesterday, no worries. Just be with where you are at today. You can always take that half bind again. Drawing that right hip forward wherever you're at and twisting your rib cage open to the left. Let go of that back foot. Inhale, sweep your left arm forward and down. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Inhale, come into that little pyramid. Use it as a little launch to step your right foot outside your right hand. Heels and toes out, frog squat, catch a prayer. Visualize your crown. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Lotus Mudra here begins to open up and then inhale, press down into the earth to rise up. Toes forward, little bend in the knees and then again, another round here, little Lotus Belly Dancer. This is total, total queen vibes. Letting that magic swirl around you. Knowing that you are worthy, you are enough, you are everything, in fact. <laughs> Switch it, move in the opposite direction. And then I find that the most important part is not necessarily just repeating, like, I'm worthy to myself, because that's a lot of my work. But to really believe it. So when you tell yourself these affirmations, really believing it, infusing it with, with passion, trust. All right, inhale, straighten up, reach that lotus up as if you're trying to just funnel in all that loving cosmic energy. And then exhale, swan dive. Amazing. All right. Inhale to lengthen the spine this time. And now bend your knees and squat your booty down a little bit. And then reach your arms forward. This is a little uh, kundalini crow. So your hips are pretty level with your knees. Your spine is nice and extended and long here. Think flat back. Keep breathing right into the low back area, right into the kidneys and the liver. Plug the shoulders back. See if you can maintain for three more strong cycles of breath. Awesome. Inhale nice and deep. Rise up for a moment. And then exhale. Come to center. Plug the front body into the back body. Lengthen the tailbone down and see if you can come all the way down into a squat. And then booty drops. Your hands can help you. Lifting your legs and your feet up into a little boat pose. Inhale here. Maybe you play with lengthening those legs just for a moment. And exhale, palms to the ground, rock your feet back into a little plow. Inhale to rock and roll yourself back onto your booty for boat pose. And then bring your knees wide, weave your arms underneath your knees and your calves, bringing the soles of the feet to touch, flare the toes alive, palms face up towards the sky for blossoming lotus navasana. Maybe Gyan Mudra there with your hands. Keep lifting your heart up out of your hips. That's another thing that my inner queen energy is all about, it's following the heart, making choices from the heart. 
Awesome. And then come back into neutral boat pose here. Play just one more time, seeing if you can lengthen those legs. Lift the heart and the gaze. Exhale, one more rock back into plow. And then rock and roll yourself forward all the way into that chair pose, that little kundalini crow. And then lengthen yourself up to stand. Bring the arms by the sides. Shake your body out a little bit. And then we'll turn to face the side, long side of our mat. Heels and toes out. So if the divine masculine, the inner king energy is the sun, the divine feminine, that inner queen is the moon, right? So she's very mutable. She's all about being able to flow through changes and to transform with grace. So we're gonna do a little moon goddess dance right now. So heels in, toes out, get into that goddess position with your legs. We're going to bend and widen the knees, bring your hands on your thighs to start and just drop your left shoulder into center, right shoulder back and then switch it, right shoulder center, left shoulder back. And then switch it one more time. All right, come to center, lift your chest up, cactus your arms. This will be the inhale. On the exhale, you're going to play with swinging your left leg up and over towards your right leg and then landing in a little chair with Lotus Mudra. And then inhale, you'll swing that left leg back out and open. And then exhale, right foot to your left foot, Lotus Mudra. Inhale, open wide. Exhale to the right, inhale, exhale to the left, and just keep it going. See if you can get like a nice high swing with whatever leg is lifting. I find it really helps. Just sort of set this free. Once you got the movement down, just invite whatever wants to happen to happen. I've been watching a lot of Bob Ross <laughs> lately and he's like so awesome. He's a master yogi. He's always talking about like letting the painting speak to you. Letting your own guidance direct your art. So really inviting this energy right here. Let it be a little messy. Woo, 30 more seconds. Feeling your legs. One more time. Oh, and then goddess yourself out here. Inhale and exhale. Straighten your legs. Holy moly. Bring your feet closer and shake it out. Ooh. Okay, we will come directly down to a seat. So if you need to grab your cushion can do that. I'm going to come right into some cooling breath to stimulate and activate the Ida Nadi, which is the feminine energy, the feminine channel that rides through the left side of the body, connected to right side of the brain, which is our emotional and creative and intuitive side. So sitting up nice and tall, catch your breath. So we will be breathing just out of the left nostril for this. If you're a little bit too congested, that's cool. Just don't plug off the right nostril. 
just imagine, visualize that you are. You can also mentally do this. Bring your left palm face up on your left knee, Gyan Mudra. Right hand and right thumb to your right nostril. Soften the shoulders, sit up nice and tall. Balance that crown on your head. Eyes closed, gazing in and up towards the brow. Close off the right nostril and just begin breathing nice and deep through the left. And I want you to really just focus on fully expanding the belly with every breath in and then fully contracting it in with every breath out. Just allow your focus to be there, the breath moving through the belly. Few more rounds. Inhale nice and deep, nice and full. Hold it for a moment. Squeeze your root lock. Feel your fullness. Feel your radiance. Like a full moon here. And then exhale through the mouth, contract your belly in. See if you could hold the breath out for a moment. Feeling that emptiness and that possibility at the same time. And then inhale. You can release your right hand. And then come down onto your back. Just closing, a couple closing stretches here. Flex your right foot on top of your left thigh, coming into a figure four. Hug your belly down towards your spine a little bit. And then either stay there or reach for your left shin and pull your whole figure four situation closer in towards your chest. Maybe some circles here. One way, the other way. Amazing. Now you can either stay in this figure four or cross your right thigh over your left, but flex both of your feet and fan your shins out so your feet are facing towards the opposite sides of the space. And then if you can, grab the outer edges of the feet with the hands, keeping the tailbone rooted, gently pull on the outer edges of the feet and draw your legs in towards your heart. For Gomukhasana leg, if this is too much, you can just allow your heels to loosen towards your sit bones a little bit more. 
but you can still hug those thighs in. Loosen up the jaw a little bit. One more deep breath in. Breathe it out the mouth. Unravel, right foot on the ground, left foot flexed on top of right thigh. And then either stay here nice and rooted or reach for your right shin. Maybe make some circles, encouraging that left thigh and knee away from you. Circle it the other way. And then coming into Gomukhasana legs on this side, left thigh over the right. Flex your feet out to the sides. Reach for the outer edge of the feet and then gently pull on the outer edges of those feet to draw your legs in towards your chest. Pretty big sensation here. So see if you can soften where you can soften. Shoulders, jaw, even softening through the hips there. Inviting it all in. More deep breath in through the nose. Pour it out through the mouth. Unravel the legs. Bring the soles of the feet to touch and allow your knees to go out wide for full on reclined goddess. Bringing your hands to your inner thighs or even your hip points. Give yourself permission to just be here, to rest, and to feel the magic of your practice, all of the work that you've done through movement, through breath, through visualization, to swirl around you. So there's work being done here in the constructive rest in the integration. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. We will close just like this on the ground, singing a sat nam, a long sat, a short nam. Inhale deep. Sat Nam. Sat Nam, fairy queens. Thank you for joining me, loves. I hope that you are feeling royal and regal like your queen self. If you enjoyed this session, give it a like, a subscribe, share this link with your friends, with your mom, with your friends that are mamas. And I also wanted to let you all know that I host live stream yoga classes, Kundalini and Vinyasa Hybrid Flow, every Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you can find the link to join instantaneously. It's through Zoom in my Instagram profile, which is at fairy.light.yoga. I hope to see you there. Satnam.